Hey guys, OzGrillis here. Today we're going to do a video on how to customize your Twitch channel. Let's do it. Alright guys, so first things first, just a little bit about myself. I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday on Australian time. Please come check me out if you've got any questions or if you just want to hang out. The link will be in the description below. As for this channel, Osgillus Gaming, we do tutorials on Streamlabs OBS, uh, OBS, Twitch, streaming. We have a few graphic designs such as how to do your own sub badges and emotes. Um, video will be in the description below for that one and above here in the card. Um, anyway, let's get to the video. All right, so we're gonna start with our uh, we're going to start with our Twitch panel. So what you do is go over here to the right, hit your icon, go to channel. All right, so we're on here. We're going to go down here and there's a little button here called edit panels. We're going to hit that and it's going to give us a big list here. So there's things that you can activate with panel extensions. Um, you can pick whatever you want there as well. We can go down here to add a new panel, which is down here. And then you add things like this. So I've got like the image here for my merch store and then I've got the link in there so when I click that it'll take me to the link so say you've got a YouTube account you make one of YouTube so I've got a little YouTube image here um, and you can type in your YouTube address in the link image links too you can put a description if you like as well it's up to you and you then if someone clicks on that it'll take you to the YouTube so let's see here I've got them here if you want to move them around because they're in kind of weird um, spots, you just go to the panel, panel title area and just drag it across. Simple as that. All right, next thing we're going to go to some of the features that I've just come out and created a dashboard. We're going to go to community and then channel points. So we're going to go through the channel points. They're just here, it's got you can have them enabled or disabled. Um, these are channel points is kind of a way to get your viewers to interact without having to spend their money and also can keep them in chat as well so you go to customize points display you can have a little icon next to your name um, next to your points there so I've just got an Oz nice and simple you need to have them in a moat size so 28 pixels 56 pixels 112 just the same as you would when getting an emote approved then you go to manage rewards you can make your own custom ones just hit add new custom reward you can put whatever you want these can have icons as well, um, so you can go edit and then add images here so your reward, your channel point reward will have an uh, icon next to it. So the same thing there, you need the emote sizes of 2856 and 112. So you can put in the reward name, add a description of what you think will be in the reward or what you want people to see there. Uh, you put the cost, how many points and stuff like that. So you can have to change the color as well. Uh, which you yeah, really don't need to do if you're going to put an icon there. So that's pretty easy there. That is a good way there to really get your community to engage in your chat and, you know, it costs nothing to you or to them. All right, the next one there that we have. This one here is if you're um, affiliated, of course, which check out my video, how to get Twitch affiliated. It'll also be in the description below. Um, so you've got your emotes. So your emotes are the similar kind of thing. To add them, I've got a video on how to upload your emotes and sub badges as well, uh, which will also be in the link below. But pretty much what you do is you click on one and you are going to put in, uh, you need three images, the same image with three different sizes. So 28 pixels, 56, 112. And that's a way for your subscribers to have added benefits rather than just spending money for no reason. Same with the loyalty badges. Um, they just added a two month one in which I don't have anything set up. But before it was one month, three months, six months, nine months, a year. And then you unlock your two to eight year badges when you become a partner. Um, so I'm not partner yet, so I only have up to a year. Um, and yeah, so that one there, I've got to make a year and a two month one. Now you've got cheer badges as well which I have not uploaded any of, um, but you can have a different badge there for people who have uh, donated bits to you. So the more bits they do in the lifetime, the bigger badge they get. 
so you can put in there as well. For these ones here, you need to have the sub badge size, which is 18 pixels by 18 pixels, 36 by 36, and 72 by 72. Um, so yet again, you don't need images for them, but that's a good way of you know, rewarding people for donating bits uh, by having cool badges next to their name. So obviously the higher the bit amount, the more you would, um, you know, the better the image you would use. All right, so Hype Train, this is a big one. So Hype Train settings, you wanna have this enabled. So Hype Train goes off when, say, support events occur, such as, you know, donations, um, or subs, sorry. Subscriptions, bits, not donations. So you can pick where you want it to be, where you want the um, hype train to kick off. So I've got three of those events. You can choose between three to 25. So if you are like a partner, someone who's getting a lot of these donations, you'd probably set it higher to make it harder for the hype train to go off. So that when it does go off, it's gonna be you know large. So I've got it set it easy and the cooldown period is two hours. So you get a hype train every two hours. So what happens with a hype train is if you get however many events you've selected here within a five minute period, so I've got three, so you need to have say three 100 bit drops each of three different people, or you know, three different people subscribe in five minutes, it will set up a hype train. And um, the hype train has five levels and it'll go up a level depending on, you know, how many bits and subs have been dropped in the time period. And uh, you know, the more that get dropped, um, the higher the sub train level really. So this one, the hype train, this one is um, they're quite a good one to have. Then you got your leaderboards. You can show your top gifters on the leaderboard, show top cheerers on the leaderboard. You can have your default one, which is top gifters. I'm gonna change that to top cheerers actually. You can have your leaderboard range. So you can have weekly, monthly, or time. And so weekly, obviously you wanted to reset every week. Same with monthly or time. You just have, you know, every bit or subs gifted um, of all time. So the differences in them is if you wanna make it a competition each week, you go weekly. If you wanna make it an all time competition, go all time. So if you got someone who's smashing the all time leaderboard and it's like unattainable for anyone else to do it, to beat them, probably go weekly, um, just so it, you know, breeds more competition. Um, you know, sorry to the <laughs> top donator there, but yeah. So what they're also gonna bring out soon is emotes. I might already have them actually. Yeah, so you can have emotes in here as well for certain tiers. So in the bit badges, again, for bit donators, say if they get to the thousand bit badge, they unlock an extra emote. So you can upload an emote here as well, completely different to your other emotes. And once people get to certain bit, um, you know, bit badges, they can also get emotes. So, you know, you've got, I've got it unlocked up to 50,000. Um, because obviously no one has donated more than that. So I've got one on 25, so they could have a certain bit badge um, emote as well. So that's actually another good way to reward people who have been dropping a lot of bits on you, they get an extra emote. So if they're subbed, you know, they just get the standard emotes that everyone else does, um, apart from their tier two or tier three, obviously. If they are dropping a lot of bits as well as being subbed, obviously they're gonna get this. Well, they don't have to be subbed, they just need to get the bit badges and then we'll get these extra emotes. So really incentives, incentives for uh, dropping bits. So there are ways that you can, uh, also here in bits and cheering, you can um, you know, change your minimum bits to cheer, minimum bits for the emote. Um, you can disable pre-roll ads when I run ads. You can change all that as well. So that's pretty good in the affiliate section. Um, obviously you have to be affiliate, yet again, check the video if you're not. Um, you can go to here and you can change like your video player banners and stuff here in channel. So that's another way of customizing. So obviously you have a different banner. Um, auto hosts, another good way. So you can go to your auto host list and you can put people in so when you're offline you'll auto host so to do that just search a channel and hit add of someone you want to auto host there um, raids allow all raids I would unless obviously you're getting bullied with raids then I probably wouldn't and you've got your teams here 
and you can have drops. So you can alert your viewers when they have a chance to earn in-game in loot, or you cannot, it's up to you. Um, you can tick off, I've got ticked off here, host pre-recorded video, so if someone's doing a replay, I'm not gonna host that. Um, you can host it if you want to, obviously, as well. All right, so here we got our moderation controls. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah, you can do your block terms and phrases, permitted terms and phrases. Um, I won't go in there in case it's something rude. You can put your rule sets. I've got a little moderation. You can have strict moderation. You know, you can add your chat rules here. Um, so when someone first comes in the channel for the first time before they chat, they have to agree to your chat rules. And you could also do email verification. So anyone that would like to send messages to your chat must first verify their email address. So that is in case, say you have someone who is harassing you and you, um, you know, block them and then they create a new Twitch account straight away and try to jump back in, they would have to go and verify it first. And you can have your band chatters down here. It's pretty good on the old moderation. Community, you can have roles manager. So you can go add new, you can type in someone and you can have them as, you know, VIP or a mod or whatever. So I've got a lot there actually. Um, they're all great people. And you look at your insights here as well. And you've got your stream manager, which you know, you can edit your stream info, rate a channel, clip things. You know, I can't do it now because I'm not live, obviously. Um, we'll go back to our main channel page. Okay, so as you can see at the moment, I'm hosting Killer Toxic Shots because uh, he's on my auto host list. So this is our channel, our panels again down here. So, that, you know, you just gotta try and make sure that um, you have info kind of there that you want people to see. So things, so I've got my About Me here. I've got like my Amazon Blacksmith panel, which shows like games I'm playing. You can have my, like what's on my PC, what's my streaming setup as links. Uh, I've got the merch. You know what I mean? And then I've got my social links as well. So you don't really want, you don't want to have too much there. You can have sponsors, I suppose, if you're sponsored. Um, yeah, it's quite easy. And the light mode is actually hurting my eyes. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are still good with it. Um, I yeah, I should change that. Anyway, guys, so that is um, pretty much it for customizing your channel. If you have any questions, hit me up below. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching uh, this video. Um, if you liked it, you please give it a like below, even share it if you have someone you know who would um, benefit from this information. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel, turn the bell on. Um, we're going to be doing a heap more, especially with all this self-isolation stuff. Um, any questions, anything you want to see, put in the comments below um, and I'll do my best to make a video on it. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys very much and have a great day.